on the scene, dripped in Celine, whole crew shining, call me Mr. Clean, came in from the back, walk right to the front, dancing to the music, smoking on the got the women smiling, punk grilling me, looking all dusty, black force energy, I don't even drink, but the team pop bottles, not here for the beef, but the Glock holes hollows, think I'm cocky, but I think I'm worse, in this flexing, like a Mr. Universe. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Andy Ruiz Jr. responds to Deontay Wilder. So a few days ago, Deontay Wilder reported that he sent Andy Ruiz a contract. So here's what was reported. It says, this is Michael Benson's Twitter. It says, Deontay Wilder's trainer, Malik Scott, has declared that they've now sent an official offer to Andy Ruiz to fight next. The ball is in your court. Now let's get it signed and sealed. So that's the quote. All right. Andy Ruiz responded to this, and we're going to take a look at the Andy Ruiz's response. So, this is what Andy Ruiz had to say. All right, if it wants to play, I right, hear it is. All right, so the video is taking a long time to load. Basically, what Andy Ruiz said is he said that, oh, it says Andy Ruiz sends a message to Wilder after Wilder's team confirmed they've sent an official offer. Let's see if we can scroll here again. Anyways, Andy Ruiz said, basically, he said he's training and he said that uh, they're working on it. They sent they sent the counter offer. So he's he basically said that he he's going to accept the fight. And that was his reaction. So I turn it over to you, uh, G. What's your reaction to that? I mean, I, again, I like the fight, but if I was Wilder, I would wait until after December. Because I wouldn't want uh, Andy Ruiz to interfere with this AJ fight, you know. So unless Wilder's that confident that he's just going to mow right through Andy Ruiz, you know. And so maybe he's like, yeah, we could probably have it in, uh, uh, you know, some some uh, like a summertime fight or something. Me personally, I would wait until after the AJ fight. But I like the fight. It's just, I don't know. I think... I was thinking like Wilder should fight something on more the likes of like Franklin or something like somebody that can give him some work to get that ring rust off, but who's not like dangerous, dangerous where it's like yo, there's a strong chance Wilder's gonna lose, you know, in preparation for AJ. Andy does have quick counter punches, so if Wilder messes up and Andy, you know, explodes on him, pause, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that, that could be that could mess up the December fight, so. I don't think, you know, it's wise for Wilder to take a chance with a guy like Andy Ruiz right now. Wait until after the uh, AJ fight in December to then, you know, go after a guy like Andy Ruiz. All right. I'm going to see if it'll work right now. Uh, Andy's response. So, because it was working when you were speaking, G. So, let's see if it works now. All right. We're getting it. Make sure you guys tune in. Big thing is coming up. Wilder, we're coming, man. We're just negotiating right now. We're getting it. Right. Yeah, so that's what uh, he said. All right, TBE. Listen. G, you used to be singing different tunes all the time, man. It's crazy. Like, with AJ Fry Franklin, then we heard about AJ fighting Wild in December. He was like, AJ need a tune up because he don't want he, he had too much layoff. It's like that. Now you're saying the same tune for Deontay. And it's just like he was like Deontay don't need no time off because he's 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 he, he's just built different. But you know, I think Deontay should take this fight. Prove yourself. You take out one, and if you beat him, 
You do what if you don't lose, you know, you, if you really bought that, if you really like that guy, then that shows you ready for the next man. But you know, Andy versus Deontay. I'm, I think I, we wanted this for a while now. We should have got it last year, and it's things didn't happen where it happened. Where Andy beat um, homeboy from Los Angeles, Luis Ortiz. No, nah, not Luis Ortiz. Uh, the other one they were supposed to fight after who's the um, where am I? I'm drawing blanks on his name. Why am I about Chris Ariola? Chris Ariola, yeah. When after he lost, uh, after he beat Chris Ariola, it was there, there was Wilder Ruiz talks. It never happened. Wilder took the high, had a hiatus. He fought um, Hellenius, you know, and then Andy fought um, Luis Ortiz. And I think this would be a good fight to see if these guys really who, who really has it, who really has it left in the tank, like you know, because it's like we know what the best in, in the heavyweight divisions are, and we're ready to see what the rest. Like who had the belts? Who were talking all this trash after off the uh, after off of the division? But I would like to see this fight. I wouldn't say don't duck it. Don't don't wait till after AJ. Cause say what happened? You fight AJ, you lose. Then you got running back with AJ. Now Andy's left hanging. Take this fight. It's a one and done. You know, keep your keep you keep your blood warm and keep it pushing after that. But we want to see this fight too. It's, if this twenty, you know what? G twenty twenty three might be G twenty three might be a great year because a lot of great fights are happening this year. Like the fights we want are happening; they're just popping up all over the place. Don't want to jump ahead. We just got confirmation: AJ Watt is happening. We got Earl Spence, Spence, and um, um Bud Crawford happening. Earlier this year, we had Tank and um Ryan Garcia. We just got so many good fights coming up, and and we got um. Canelo and Charlo, which I don't want to get too much into, but like so many good fights that happened this year that I'm excited for boxing. It might be G23, but G got to call the fights right to make it his year. You feel me? But that's all. That's yeah. all. But it's, it's cool. It's cool. Yo, my opinion on this really depends on whether or not Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua are actually fighting in December. If they really know they're going to fight each other in December, then I don't want Deontay Wilder to fight Andy Ruiz because, to me, it doesn't help. Andy Ruiz is in a similar style to Anthony Joshua. It's not going to prepare him for Anthony Joshua. Typically, when you take a fight in between, it's someone that's going to get you prepared or someone to help you build confidence for the fight you have coming up, right? So he should take someone who's similar in stature, someone who can give him some type of prep preparation for what he'll see in the ring against Anthony Joshua. And Andy Ruiz isn't going to do that. Andy Ruiz is his own different challenge within itself. Andy Ruiz is former heavyweight champion in the world, former unified heavyweight champion in the world. Andy Ruiz is a dangerous fight. So it's kind of like, for me, it's not the type of fight you take as a tune-up fight. Right. And just and just say, I'm going to take him and then I'm going to take Anthony Joshua. So if Wilder does take Andy Ruiz and then he does take um, Anthony Joshua in December, to me, that's like major salute to Deontay Wilder. So, you know, we we've done this show and Deontay Wilder is taking his criticism for cherry picking and taking easy fights. If he goes to Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua route and he was able to. Uh, get victories in both of those fights, you would have to give Deontay Wilder his respect because he certainly didn't take the easy road. Now, what I would say is, for me, if he's going to fight Anthony Joshua next, don't fight Andy Ruiz. Fight someone like F.A. Ajapa. That's that's who I, I would say, F.A. Ajapa. And, and I know everyone's going to say, oh, that's an easy fight. Well, so what? Because he's fighting Anthony next so this is more about getting some rounds in being busy but if he's not going to fight Anthony Joshua then fighting Andy Ruiz is what he needs to do because that's really his big fight because he's not going to fight Anthony Joshua so that's my take on it uh Andy Ruiz uh he and and oh one thing you said uh TVE um I don't think he owes it to Andy Ruiz because Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder, they're ranked by WBC. So they would be fighting somewhat of an eliminator to get to go the Fury route. 
But if Deontay Wilder isn't seeking a full fight with Fury and he's clearly going to fight Anthony Joshua, which is what he said he wants to do, then he doesn't need to take the Andy Ruiz fight. So even if he loses to AJ, he can he, he can give Anthony Joshua a rematch or he can go the Andy Ruiz route. It's on, it's, it's on him. But at the, at, in the, at the end, he should do what's best for him. And I think Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua, that's the that's the fight everyone wants to see. So that's my take on a dollar dollar bill. We're talking about Andy Ruiz responding to Deontay Wilder, saying he sent them a contract, saying that uh Wilder, I'm coming. He said, uh, we're just negotiating. That's his reaction to it. Uh what what is your reaction to Andy Ruiz, Deontay Wilder? I mean, get in line, Playboy, get in line. <laughs> that's how I feel about that you know they trying to make something happen they trying to make a big fight happen man so you're going to have to wait your turn that's how I feel about that alright alright well well, that's how it is let us know how you feel in the comment section please like and subscribe check us out on Instagram and Twitter please check out 